Hey guys, it is week four of my top five cards in Hockey Ultimate Team for NHL 22 buy and avoid. This has been a pretty popular series of mine and I've really enjoyed doing it because again, uh, I am playing the market a ton. I, you know, I spend money on the game so you guys don't have to. I get to try out all these high-end cards, let you know if they're good or not. So um, let's get into week four of my cards to target and avoid. Again, guys, this isn't um, because I'm saying the cards are bad. Um, it is more just me saying that at their price point, it's not worth it. This is for people that have, um, you know, lesser coins. They're not spending money on the game. They, they they have limited amount that they can spend on their players, and they got a hit on those players that they buy because, again, they don't have a ton of coins. So I try to cover all um, price points. So let's start with the cheaper ones for this week. We'll start with the ones to avoid. And we're going to start with, again, some of these won't be popular, but the team of the week, Jack Hughes. All right, so right now he's going for about 25 to 30K. Here's the problem. You're buying the name value. Um, his speed is fantastic. You can absolutely rip down the wing. And in this game, you know, short side wrister is pretty easy to pull off if you can just get right by the wing. He doesn't have... It exceptional size he's very slender and he's under six foot here's the problem with his speed it's great to have 95 speed it's not great to be able to do it once and then be exhausted and have to go for a line change if you look here his endurance is a 75 which almost negates the fact he has really really high speed i get it it's jack hughes i'm sure throughout the year there'll be a better jack hughes card um, I would avoid this. There's no point in spending, you know, close to 30k for a card that you can rip down the wing once and then has to go off on a change. Moving up in a little bit higher price point, let's talk about the flashback Sidney Crosby that did come out here. Let me pull him up here. Um, again, I love the content that they're doing this year. Um, again, I've said it a ton that I think the content for um, NHL 19 and 20 has been fantastic. And I love all these new cards and things that are coming out to constantly to make it new. Here's the problem. This is the exact same Sidney Crosby as the one we have. There's no ratings boost. He just gets an extra synergy. And it's not XP or, or sorry, X or SP or 1T. Um, I would avoid the, pro the the price here. So you can buy a normal Crosby for about 120k, which I would recommend as well. There's no reason to go and spend, you know, an extra 50k just because you want to have his background be the o Ramuski Oceanic and one extra synergy. I would avoid at that price point. The next up we need to talk about. Um, again, so I released a video about the fantasy hockey cards, and they are fantastic. I love this idea. This is the closest thing we have to um, dynamic ratings like MLB The Show. Here's the thing. People are buying these cards and spending the amount of money at their highest value, meaning that you are spending and investing coins thinking that they are going to reach their maximum potential. So n my number three card is Milan Lucic, but it's really almost all of the fantasy hockey cards, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit. Again, guys, these are really cool, and I totally understand if you're a Flames fan and you want to go after Milan Lucic because you watch all their games. I love that. I love that these cards are in the game. It's just that if you do not have a lot of coins, then you can't be wasting your money on these cards. So let me get into why. So Milan Lucic, again, 6'3", 236, great, great size, okay, does shoot left, his speed isn't terrible out of the gate, he's a 79 overall, but he's got 84, 83, 94 balance, which is awesome, that means that if you're on PlayStation specifically, you can rip around in the corner and not lose the puck at all, basically, and, but here's where it gets you know, drastic, let's say Milan Lucic, who is at the you know, tail end of his career, it's, it's, Power forwards drop off more than any other style of player. They got to go through a rigorous career of playing the body, and then their hands go a little bit, and then their feet go, and they drop off again more than anyone. I'm a Sharks fan. Um, the best way, I, the best person I can describe would be Ryan Klo. Great player, fell off a cliff at around 34, 35. So let's talk about his shot. Let's say Milan Lucic scores 10 goals. Okay. Again, let's say he does it early in the first month. Okay, makes him at eighty. <clears throat> excuse me, makes him an eighty-nine. So you're gonna add ten to his speed, which is great. He'll have ninety-nine balance. His shot, though, his shot power will be a ninety, but his shot accuracy is gonna be an eighty. He's a winger. You need that shot accuracy to pick corners. Those are the like. 
a lot of the style of play that you're going to get on wingers, you want to really focus on speed and the wrist shot power and accuracy because, again, those are the ones that are going to get open for the short side wristers, those those snipes that you can get on the faceoff dot. So, again, and that's at the high point, okay? That's if he scores 10 goals in the first two months, which isn't likely. I mean, there's a shot he rebounds his career, but there really is no point. And you're having to spend like 70k almost 80k and over 100 like he's going up in price again guys these cards are going to fluctuate a ton every night which is cool i love that i love that people are going to have to watch hockey or watch not have to but watch more hockey because of their players i love these cards just do not buy them if you are short on coins and you're not a fan of the team. Just I, I would avoid that one, specifically Milan Lucic. Next up, what I want to talk about for my cards to avoid. Okay, so the classic event is now over, but let's go take a look. Oops, sorry. Let's go take a look at the master set players from them. I would avoid every single master set player from the classic event they went up in price and i don't know if it's because the event's now over you can't get these cards specifically these ones um you know like the gretzky the eiser and the lemieux uh sorry the um the gretzky eiser and ronick they do have more synergies which is awesome uh but again you're you're paying an awful lot for cards that aren't all that crazy so if we're looking at the you know 90 gretzky the 90 eiserman there, there's better cards that you can get for the significant amount of money that you're going to have to spend. The only one I would watch out for is Rasmus Dahlin. And the reason is, is because he's not going anywhere on your team for, I don't want to say the entire season because that's a bold call, but defense is so weak. This card is amazing. Six foot three, his speed is all over 93. Um, good endurance, great shot. All of his defensive stats are almost touching 90. I love this card. I've said it in past videos. Um, all I would avoid all of these master set cards except Rasmus Dahlin. And the price point I would look for Dahlin at is if he falls to like 350. If you see him for 350, I would snag him. Lastly, or sorry, number four. No, sorry, lastly. <laughs> I haven't got a lot of sleep, I guess. The fantasy hockey sets. So, again... I just talked about Lucic, how you're you're paying the utmost value for him. 600K. All right, let's talk. Say he gets 20 goals, 19 goals, makes him a 99. So you're adding 19 to all of these. So he's going to be, you know, a 99 in, exce in, in speed and shot if he scores 19 goals. But he was benched last season. Like, he's fallen out. In LA, I don't. I, I could see him rebounding. He's still a prolific scorer, in my opinion. He's got great size, but 600k again. You're. Let's think. Like by the time he scores 20 goals, okay. Let's say it's February at early. Okay, early February he scores closer to the end of February. That is when the high end cards will come out, and you're paying what probably you're gonna pay team of the year prices for right now. But you're losing out on all of the other cards to improve your team while you have this Ilya Kovalchuk who, um, again, looks amazing. But what if he doesn't pan out early and he struggles out of the gate and you just locked up 600, 700k in a card that is really slow, has a decent shot, but... Again, with 700k right now, guys, you could be buying multiple legends, multiple icons, lots of stuff that can help your team right now. Again, if you're hot rich, I understand it. This is a great, cool card. I hate the Kings. I'm not going to watch any of their games unless they play the Sharks. I just despise them. But this is a great-looking card, and it's really cool because it's Ilya Kovalchuk, let's be honest here. But the other ones, like the sets themselves, let's take a look at what you have to do for these sets. So the only one, obviously, Taylor Hall. He starts out at a 72, but he has a shot to score 30 goals, obviously, it's Taylor Hall, and get to a 99. But again, he's not doing that until January or, let's say, February, at which point you're spending, you're having to wait all of that time, investing all of these coins before he's playable, okay, like ex extremely usable for your team. And, you know, what if he gets hurt? That's another thing, guys. What if these guys get hurt? You're investing a lot in hope all right so if you're looking at these sets all right you let's say you want to do the Ilya Kovalchuk one all right that's going to cost you at right now like 612,000 coins so I wouldn't 
if you're gonna buy them, make sure that you that the price point to that what you're paying is six hundred and twelve or it matches. So you're paying less. Okay. I would not do any of these other sets. You're risking it. The only other one that's worth it, like Fantasy Hockey one that is, you know, is a lock. I, I said this in my Fantasy Hockey video. Like Seth Jones is sweet. So is Hall. But you have to do the set to risk them. The price that you're having to pay in the auction house for them, I would not do at all. So, guys, again, those are my cards to avoid. I totally understand why you would not want to avoid them. But, again, I'm just trying to help you guys get the most out of your money in the auction house. Let's jump over to a little bit more friendly um, version of the of the video. Let's do the buys, okay? And, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on player types that uh, I don't really talk about. So... Something that I don't really like is big players, and I understand why they're super effective. I just don't like being slow. It's just something I've always had. It's probably, you know, uh, I would significantly improve if I use bigger players. So I want to focus on some bigger players that you can go after um, for cheap, okay, for that are at good values. So first thing we're going to start with that I was able to find here um, is... Where are you? Oh, here he is. For you know, roughly around. Let's take a look. It's Michael Rasmussen. So you can get him a thousand, like one k. Okay, six foot six, two twenty, an absolute unit. Has ninety speed. Okay, and his shot again, it's not very good. But again, this would be a card you would put on your bottom few lines to play great defense. Again, penalty kill. This would help you stop zone entries. Um, you know, I one timers. You can really get away with low shot power and accuracy on one timers but this would be a total defensive card um just for the fact that he's so big you can really deny zone entries with huge cards and he's got great speed to go along with that with the size again this is for players that are free to play just starting out don't know who to go after this would be a card i would put on your third and fourth lines um until you can get someone of the same size or well there's not really that many that big but you know roughly big that have that has that that shot to go with him but for this price point you're not losing anything and i think that he'd be a very good card for you guys um let's go with number two We'll go a little bit more expensive this time. Not very much, though. And we're going to go after the 84. Where are you? The 84. Oh, one second. I, can't, I hate that you have to go back out of this. The 84, Glenn Murray. Okay, so again, this is players that like bigger style players. Okay, 87 acceleration, speed, agility, endurance, balance, all of that. 88 across the board, really 87. Um, but his slap shot power, wrist shot power is all 86, six foot three. Again, this is a big card. This is almost exactly like the Alexander Barkov, all, except he's a winger. But he's a right-handed player, which is rare. It's hard to find good right-handed players. You're paying right now about 13k for him. Um, and again, the 87 Barkov is going for you know a hundred. So this is a great cheap card to go after. Again, if you like big players, put them on the wing. He's got decent enough speed, and um, again, his shot's great for a cheap winger option for you guys. Next, we're going to go with a Team of the Week card, which I always say to avoid, which um, you know kind of goes against what I normally tell you guys. Team of the Weeks will always go down in value, so if you do pack some of these, I usually tell you to sell them right away, and that is exactly why I'm recommending these cards. So, the 86 Austin Matthews, all right? Right around 90k now. Pretty much the left-handed version of Alex Ovechkin. I mean, his shot obviously isn't as isn't as you know ferocious, but um, great speed over 90. Six foot three, big has SP as well, so he's going to get a little bit faster. Um, for whatever reason, I don't know if it's because it's Austin Matthews, but I find that I score with any Austin Matthews card I use. Like it's just. I don't know what it is. His face-off is an 85, so you can play him at center. Um, at 90K, this would be, uh, you know, a decent value. I think he'll get cheaper. Obviously, all Team of the Weeks do. But at 90K, if he drops to 80, I would recommend grabbing him for the next little while just because good speed, good shot, you know, good size. That, that checks off a lot of boxes. The next one I want to talk about is the Blake Wheeler. 35k roughly, six foot five, 225. He's huge. Speeds all over 89, and his shot again, his wrist shot accuracy is 83, but the power is 86 and 85. Right-handed player again, like I said, rare. They're rare cards 
this is a good value. Um, this is a huge card that you're going to be able to use that's quick, has a good shot, and you're not breaking the bank for under th around 33,000 coins. Totally a good value. Now, the last thing I want to talk about, I kind of mention this every week, but I want you guys to pay attention to the price point on gold cards. So they are basically the currency in HUT. All right, right now they're going for under 900 coins. Okay, so let's just do some math here. So if you wanted to do the um, the Mario Lemieux or Wayne Gretzky set, right now that's costing you 540,000 coins, which in my opinion is worth it. So if you were going to make them you have this many coins the great thing is is that you can pack you have because of the packs you're you're having a ton of these cards hit the market there's so many gold cards because there's no longer gold rares or gold um commons at 900 at 900 coins if you don't have an excessive amount of these just remember that you can make wing gretzky or Mario lemieux for 540,000 coins at 900 um, buy now for these gold so just watch out for that guys i do think they are worth it and if they do get an upgrade i believe you'll be able to upgrade them i don't have confirmation on that but let's just say they get a 99 version at some point you can just throw them in the set depending on how it works they always like to uh, mess around with with that so guys that is my week four buy and avoid cards let me know who you think is worth it if you've if you agree disagree um if you like the content i do need to say thank you for ten thousand youtube subscribers this is big for me i appreciate all you guys i'll see you next time